Hi, welcome back. So I wanted to do a quick comparison, kind of outlining the, the main differences between these um, tiny little Zigbee switches from the latest one from IKEA and this one from Xiaomi, their um, low energy kind of line of devices. This one is also the Xiaomi one, uh, just much bigger from Aquara. So I have uh, this uh, Zigbee hub running. This is a Texas Instruments um, kind of chip that has this, this module here is basically just a reference implementation of their sniffer device. This is why you get some so cheap, this one here. So, and I have it running on Raspberry Pi and here is the Zigbee 2 MQTT uh, library. That's a node package or node library that talks directly to the serial interface of this module. Uh, and then it essentially just in decodes the traffic, all the Zigbee traffic, all the messages that are coming in that it can detect. And kind of the, the major point that I want to make here is the differences between how the clicks are registered. So this one, the IKEA one, um, you'll notice there when I click it, it pretty much like instantaneously registers a click. Um, compare it with this uh, Xiaomi switch click. It takes literally like a second to register that click. So if you would use this to turn on your lights, you would always notice that delay, which is not very convenient or kind of understandable for your guests coming over who are not used to this kind of behavior. And the reason is that this bu these buttons here, they support uh, kind of nice features such as double click. Uh, you see here, there's the double. It also supports like long press, uh, long release. You see it even records the duration of that long release. Uh, however, these uh, buttons are built specifically for switching lights, so they're pretty much instantaneous. Uh, so this is the biggest benefit to these buttons. Um, same with this bigger switch as well. This is also a Zigbee from Aquara. That's one of the Xiaomi brands, I believe, for uh, their kind of low energy devices. Uh, you'll notice there, this one also takes a while until it actually registers that click. And that's because the switch itself, it kind of waits for the double click or for how many clicks there are going to be there. I have some other, the low frequency, the 433 megahertz uh, radio switches. Uh, these I would never recommend anyone to use because they're not even using any kind of encryption. So they're vulnerable to the replay attacks. Um, so I could drive by and just listen to the traffic and then start switching off and on lights in your house. Essentially play the same radio payload over again and it does the same thing as, as it did before. So these are really nice, uh, they're super cheap. Uh, I believe they're like nine euros in Europe and seven bucks in the United States, uh, plus taxes. They also have the brightness controls. So if you press and hold it, it kind of sends the brightness up event. You can see it there. When you release it, it sends the brightness stop. So the device itself is responsible for switching the lightness or doing any kind of I mean, action related to these inputs there. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if, you any, if you have a preference of any of the switches or you have any recommendations for other switches, just leave them down in the comments. Um, and I look forward to reading them and don't forget to subscribe.